don't regret the journey God has taken me through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because it has been a, a beautiful journey, ups mm. and downs, yeah, yeah. but he has remained to be faithful. Oh yes. Yeah. Ah, awesome, awesome, awesome. And um let me try and see if I can find one of those two people. Jumps of Kitambo. I'm sure he's okay. Yeah, stick around. I'll be playing you some hip hop from back in the day. But right about now, Urban Settler. Yes. You know, seven years, three years into now uh in it for real. Mm-hmm. Uh what are some of the memorable moments in the Kuanazo? Uh, my first encounter to do a big show was uh, in 20, 2012, mm-hmm. 2012 to Kibuka, 2013. Mm-hmm. I, I had just released a song in it to me, Sikwa, Nilipua, Nona Nikali, son. But to people who like, were that big, Ilipinito yeah. Kimbilio. Mm-hmm. So I got an opportunity to perform at uh, Kubamba's. TSO totally sold mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. at Nairobi Chapel. Yeah, yeah. And it was a big milestone because number one, it was a big milestone because is real, is such that. But then it was a big milestone because it was a And bigger artists like Kina Gloria Molido, uh, yeah. Rain John, Kina Ekodida, mm-hmm. they were coming, they were driving themselves to, to, to the rehearsals. Yeah. And the reception I received, it it, it changed my perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these are people I've been watching on TV and now we are sharing the same stage. Yes. So I realized that God can put a seed in you mm-hmm. and at his own time he, he will announce it. Yes. So that was um, one of the biggest memories that I, I, I had then. Mm-hmm. Then it came to 2015, I did a show for the uh, arts. National Archives. We blocked the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we did a. It was a community engagement project mm-hmm. where we were just talking to people about uh, the cultural power. Mm-hmm. And we had models running up and down. It was called Gold Golden Platform mm-hmm. uh, Concert. Yeah. At Kenya National uh, Archives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it came to 2017, 2018. I got an opportunity to do group tours. Mm-hmm. Uh, not in that uh, groove to us, most of the people who perform are the nominees, but yes, God gave yes. me favor that I did group to us and performed that groove party in Machakos. Mm-hmm. And specifically for that one was very important in my life because I realized that um, uh, like in 2015, yeah. some issues had happened in my life and mm-hmm. we, we had we had like two good years without speaking with my person, with my dad. Yeah, yeah. And I never knew my dad will be in the concert. Uh-huh. So I've come from Nairobi. Yeah. And I've gone to the show, the concert in Machakos. Yeah, yeah. So I've been calling my dad about the Christmas season. He's not call, uh, picking or answering my phones. Uh-huh, but, uh-huh. Um, I'm in the concert and then uh, people perform and around 11 p.m. Dr. Fonik introduces this young man. Yeah. And I go to stage and I receive a good reception from the crowd. Mm-hmm. After the performance, I went backstage mm-hmm. and then uh, a police lady came looking for me. Mm-hmm. was like, I want to see the, the young man not just come from stage. Yeah, yeah. So. The other people were amazed, like, is a bad settler wanted in Machako. But I met a two stage in a background. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, me and Kampuata, and then some of the artists follow me because they wanted to make sure yeah, that yeah, what yeah, is happening. Yeah, so, me and Kenda, and Kapata, and Nibudangu, mm-hmm. and then uh, we had stayed for two years without communicating. Wow. And that brought the bonds together, uh-huh. and uh, we forgave each other. And, God has been faithful since yeah, then. Yeah. So that one was a reunion between mm-hmm. me and my dad and yeah. my family. Mm-hmm. And God has been faithful, really faithful. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you know, you just said that, and I remember the verse in the Bible that says, Your gift will make room for you mm-hmm. and uh, take you before kings and great men. Mm-hmm. And 
I want to stick to the part that your gift will make room for you. Amen. That even in places where there is conflict, your gift makes room for you and brings reconciliation. Mm. And it's so powerful to hear that because I've also gone through the same. I also had the same thing with my dad. Mm. You know, where I even went for a longer time without speaking to him. But, um, you know, we through my gift, we got to interact through my... You know, remember a song I did mm. on that evening? Mm. And I was literally just speaking to my dad and... And he actually had the song, and that brought about a reconciliation. Mm. And it's so powerful how your gift actually makes room for you in places where you are not qualified. Yeah, true. You are for qualification, you mm. not be there. Yeah, true, true. And many of the things that God has done in my ministry, and mm. I look back and just marvel of how God is faithful. Yeah, yeah. Um, in 2017, by the time I was doing my album launch. Mm -hmm. I had a, a, a very uh, weird dream. Yeah. I had a, the, the title of the album is the song that you began with, Anaku mm -hmm. And in the album, there is a song called Nitrume. Uh -huh. So, Nitrume. Fact, is, thank you for bringing that up. That is my <laughs> next song here on the playlist. Eh? Nitrume, Nitrume was a dream mm -hmm. that uh, came in my mind like three or four times. Mm -hmm. And then, in the fourth time, God gave me the song at night. Yeah. The whole song, mm -hmm. because I was struggling to to switch from rap to singing. Yes, yes. Because I I, uh, I really love rap yeah. because this is something I've grown listening to Lacre, yeah. yeah. Fulani, yeah. Giuliani. Yes, yes. And it was in me, so I couldn't avoid doing hip hop and rap music. Yeah. So this was my first song. It was called it's called Nitume, and mm -hmm. the dream was. Uh, I sent Jonah to the mm -hmm. name yeah. to preach and then he went his own ways. Mm -hmm. So for you, I'm sending you to nations. Yeah. That was in 2017. Uh -huh. I'm sending you to nations, but you have been delaying. Mm. You have not been taking this serious. Yes. I have ordained you for nations mm -hmm. and it was so convincing that God is speaking to me. Yes. And he showed me seven people mm -hmm. in that dream that I'm going to connect you with seven people mm -hmm. that your ministry will start to be noticed by different people. Yeah. That will announce you in nations and you will minister with great people. Yes. That you just see them on TV and mm -hmm. maybe on social media. And I did the album launch. Yeah. And then on 20, 2018 January, I got an opportunity to, to travel to Uganda. Mm -hmm. uh, there is one of the biggest artists in Uganda called uh, David Utalo. Yeah, yeah. So David Utalo, he does uh, contemporary music. Yeah. He does, uh, he's like Kidum. Mm -hmm. Today Kidum can wake up and do gospel music. Yeah, yeah. And the other day, he wakes up and does love music. So mm -hmm. it's such kind of a yeah. An artist, yeah. and for him, he's really born again. But he was launching his album, so mm -hmm. through a mutual friend, they invited me to Uganda, mm -hmm. and that was my first show to do with over 10,000 people yeah. outside Kenya. And mm -hmm. I did that song, and the reception was very good. Mm -hmm. And I really thanked God because, number one, these people just watch my videos on YouTube and then they catered for my transport accommodation to and from. Yeah. Then I came back and it was very wonderful. Then after the one week I got an opportunity to to minister with uh, Angel Bernard. Mm -hmm. After I came to Tan yeah. from Uganda, yeah. I got another invitation to Tanzania, Russia uh, via Angel Bernard. Yeah. We were there with Saint B and some other artists. And was like God is fulfilling the dream that He showed me in 2017. Yeah, yeah. So we came back, mm -hmm. and then 2018 it started well mm -hmm. because I have gone to two nations within one one month. Yeah. Then uh, I began to do a lot of missions in 2018. Yeah, yeah. Then came 2018 was a successful year for mm -hmm. me because I had switched from rap yes, to, yes, to yes, now yeah. singing mm -hmm. and the reception I received was, was very good because yeah, yeah. I remember mm -hmm. most of the people we used to meet and most of the people played my music mm -hmm. they just started playing the music because of the transition yes 
and they wanted to see is it true this dude can sing mm -hmm. um, and not only singing I've received a lot of testimonies of people who have been listening to my music mm -hmm. and they say this is where you should have begun from where you are called very true I and actually said the same thing mm -hmm. when when I got this music because so, in a, just um, knowing you from mm -hmm. from uh, the hip hop era mm -hmm. going to missions with you watching you just you know pour your heart out mm -hmm. in poetry and mm -hmm. in, in hip hop and then getting Najwa Tangu Tangu you launched your album we haven't met mm -hmm. we haven't met. Mm -hmm. but right now you know and and this music you know in itself mm -hmm. it just goes out it, it, it you know people are able to relate to this more mm -hmm. Mtu hata sikia imeanza hivi sana hiyo ni hip hop hiyo ni abidama you know mm -hmm. and, and I actually noticed that because even the other DJs we have here on the show I didn't tell them to play I just gave them the playlist mm -hmm. easy ni muziki when you go listen play mm -hmm. and everyone brings shaker you listen to the mix I'm on set la kongani and you like okay mimi sikuambia cheza hii Weka huyu, mm. weka huyu. I just, you know, like for, for them, I just give them music and go. One and then thing, I wait for the mix up and be in the house. One thing that I was struggling with was um, I have these young, young, young people who are my fan base. Yeah. I was like, how am I going to convince them I'm not doing that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one day God proved me wrong that uh, we got an opportunity to do a road show for Sitam mm -hmm. at the river. Yeah. With Mbuvi. LJ Masai then mm -hmm. and Lima and some other artists. Yeah. And now we did well on the road shows because now I could connect well with young people because I'm doing rap. Mm -hmm. And they could come and cheer more than even other people are just singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did well in three three days. It was on Monday, it was on Wednesday, that's the Friday. Mm -hmm. Then Saturday we had a crusade in a river. Yeah. And then on that Saturday Uh, the main pastor came and, and, and called me just uh, away from the other artists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then he told me something that transformed my life. Yeah. He told me that you have done a good job in the road shows, mm -hmm. but we are not going to give you an opportunity to perform at our altar. Mm -hmm. The only reason is because you are doing drama. What? It, it hit me like... Uh, Am I doing bad music? Yeah. Am I doing music that is not acceptable to the church? But yet, I'm a, I can hear me. The moment we take up the chance to play that kind of music in our altar, mm. uh, I will mess with the with the congregation, and then uh, the elders will will be on my toes. Yeah. So I just want you to understand that we are not going to give you an opportunity to minister tomorrow in the church. And then Bobby heard what I have been told. And then he came and told me, I've been telling you to sing. Mm -hmm. You have a good voice. Can you start singing? <laughs> <laughs> But for me, it was a very painful experience. Yeah. Because this is a grown-up and he's telling you something that is really true. Mm -hmm. And for you, you have been maybe ignoring mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. because you think you love hip-hop, yeah. you love this, yeah. and this is what you think God is speaking to you. So. Yeah. I took a break of six months yeah. from music to just pray and, and listen to music and try to understand where I could be positioned. Mm. So that's when I went to studio and God gave me that song for the two men. Yeah. And for sure it was God who was speaking because until today mm. that is the song that has most views on my YouTube channel and mm. it has Uh, every time I sing it, it connects with people very close. And it's a prophetic song that it has opened doors for me because I listened to God and He told me, I have ordained you for nations. Mm. And 2019 was not a good year for me mm. by the look of things, but yeah. God, God did something that proved me wrong. wrong. Mm. Because uh, uh, I'm a YouTuber. Mm. I do... I do YouTube management for artists yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, at the time they, they are, the economy was, was not going well. Mm -hmm. So Jobiam will issue at at once because where we work uh, most of the people are retrenched because the companies are not doing well. Yeah, yeah. 
and after that nikakuja nika encounter some thugs who akanibia vitu zangu and then eh uh, um, dadangu pia akachuja jobs so ukapata imekuwa a, a hectic season mm. but in that season god is so faithful god gave a burden to someone a close friend to me and then one of these days he called me and said abban what's happening to you because uh, i can't sleep every time that feel god can you make can you look for abban tafuta abban kuna kitu inaendelea kwa maisha yake mm-hmm. so me your time can you tafuta mm. uh, nilikuwa nimefika kwa kona kabisa mm-hmm. such that kijako uh, imefungwa yeah yeah or three place una spend vitu zako zote ziko ziko kwa hao watu na kuja tao you don't yeah. tell anyone you just go to missions mm. and you go back na kwa hiyo season umse akaniambia aba nikashare with him what was going on mm. then aliambia aba why am i your friend mm. if you can go through these issues mm. na wezi sema mm. kwa mimi ni bonus na ngojea tu god afanye what he could do wow. kaniambia aba nile siku dalala njaa Mm-hmm. utakosa fair utakosa anything ukiwa Nairobi mimi nikiwa yeah. tutakosana <laughs> so this dude uh, took me in and then after some times mm-hmm. we began to pray and we continued to pray and in June in June in uh, I can say in January last year yeah. I got an opportunity to be I, I was invited a village too many pigia simu yeah. to just go and sit down and help people to plan an event. Mm-hmm. I never knew the, the the kind of event they are planning. It was a worship experience. Mm-hmm. And by then nikiwa tukiwa kwa hiyo tukipanga hizo vitu na ndio tu ile situation niko. Yeah. Unapata siezi connect. Mm-hmm. So tukaenda tukashare ideas and then they were like we are going to have you on board mm-hmm. for the event that is coming up yeah, so yeah. i came to realize that they were bringing stick drum in kenya yeah. from nigeria so mm-hmm. last year january yeah so we had a sitting for kitu 3 weeks mm-hmm. and then the event was confirmed but to my surprise these people wako nika kwa posta wako communicate yeah. but wali tumia ideas zangu for an event because ili kwa event kubwa sana na Mhm. Nada corporates will come. So immediately they receive their cash. Mm-hmm. They change but mimi nikasema sio release na nikanyamaza tu. Mhm. Eh, uh, ikai cha Steve Crown came and did a big event in Kisumu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could see how the event was got manifested in it and it was like, but why did you not allow me to be in this event? Uh, as a human being you you get mad at people yeah, yeah. and then ikaisha tu mm-hmm. na tukaendelea na goda kaanza kufungua tu tu opportunities to mm-hmm. job to ministries yeah. na vitu zikaanza ku recover tu pole pole come june mm-hmm. june i see a poster again that the crown is coming back to nairobi yeah and a friend of mine is minister in mm-hmm. that event mm-hmm. yeah. so this friend called me and we are aban uh, akuna maashas Mm-hmm. unaweza kama kuwasha mhm nakumbuka hii ni ule mzee nilikuwa napanga event yake ya chanza yeah, yeah, yeah. sasa mzee anambia nikuje nikafanya ashari mhm yeye nikaenda tu nikafanya ashari without but before niende the eve of the event event iko kesho leo nikaota ile ndoto niliota 2017 yeah that i'm giving you nation that for thank you for nations yeah. And nikashangaa mbona nimeota the same dream mm-hmm. after after a year yeah then kind of event mimi nikaasha tu vizuri at around 11 at around 5 5:30 pm yeah Steve Brown and Lisa Maxima the holy spirit is moving in the just want everyone to stand mm-hmm. and make seven steps mm-hmm. and declare what you want yeah so mimi kama seven steps na ni remind God you have you have been telling me you have called me for nations mm. may these nations manifest this year mm. and ika feel ni muomba tu siko mbada ombirefu nikambia tu god me may, may these nations manifest yeah, this year yeah, yeah, yeah. so nikaachia hapo mm-hmm. so after 
after event in Asia, mm-hmm. the guy who had introduced me to that worship experience, I came back. Kesho naweza come place fulani on Thursday. Mimi kwenda hiyo place kumbe tu ni Bible study. Msia alikuwa ananiita kitu ni tu Bible study. Ngoja mm-hmm. ni it's a bit it's a, maybe a business forum but we be, we went there and then we started to we continue to pray with them. Then from June, July, August, September 23rd, it's usually my birthday. Mm-hmm. And uh since 2017 I've been dedicating that day to do a, a charity event mm-hmm. which I call September Babies Charity Event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mobilize people who have been born in September mm-hmm. and then we we changa pesa and then we buy food stuffs and go to a children's home do a concert yeah, yeah. and then inspire the, the generation. Mm-hmm. Then after Pomaliza Yo mission yeah, last year September Karudi to Bible study so some announcement was done that we have been praying for a mission in Nigeria, Abuja. Nani yako na passport? Nika sema niko na passport. Kambo, can you bring it next week on Thursday? Mm-hmm. Then I submitted. And after I submit my passport, sisi kwambia ni nani alilipa flight yangu to Abuja and fro Mm-hmm. and accommodation for over 10 days yeah, yeah. and we went there and God was just showing me I'm not yet done with you yeah that is just this is beginning. just the beginning yeah, I'm it's just it's trying it's to it's show it's you how 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 I value the ministry that I have put in mm-hmm. and whatever I'm showing you is something that I want you to be serious with me yeah, yeah. you can't give me anything mm-hmm. you can't live in complaining that things are not working for you Mm-hmm. And yet, you are my son. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have written you. He was reminding me some scriptures. I have written your name in in my palm. Mm-hmm. And we happened. We went to Nigeria. And I was not going to minister. Mm-hmm. I was just going to to be a backup parties for the band mm-hmm. that was coming from Kenya to go and minister there. The Swahili praise and worship. Yeah. yeah. So then we are in in church on a Saturday mm-hmm. in Nigeria mm-hmm. and we are doing rehearsals for tomorrow mm-hmm. so after presenting some some praises for Swahili mm-hmm. one of the lead guitarists was, was Steve Crown and this one is a gospel artist from Kenya mm-hmm. and their theme was praise mm-hmm. so he got interested in me and then he started to tell me can you show me some of your music on YouTube and then I was showing him, trying to explain to him mm-hmm. what every song means. And then we, I showed him uh, Nitume, Nakuta Zamiya, and then Sifa. Mm-hmm. Then he loved Sifa because it was their theme. Yeah. Their theme was uh, praise. Mm-hmm. And he, told, he asked me, will you mind to minister tomorrow this song? And then I asked him, how am I going to minister? And the program was made, was done a month ago. I was nowhere in the posters. He told me, leave that to me. Send me this song via my phone on WhatsApp or mm-hmm. Bluetooth and go to the to the, to the screens person and mm-hmm. give him the lyrics of the song in Swahili. Yeah, yeah. And I did that. Then we are here. Uh, the event has come. Mm-hmm. Uh, he told me, because we have not rehearsed your song, mm-hmm. I'm going to play your song via my phone. Mm-hmm. You will do uh, playback. Awesome. Listen guys, when we come back, Aban Settler is going to be telling us more about his Nigerian experience. But right about now, let's listen to the song Nitume. This this is actually um, a prophetic song. Mm-hmm. It's actually the song that has ushered him to all that ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, playing on 99.9 RFM, it's the Spice Show. Nitume, Aban Settler. <laughs> Na 
Naimba nikisifu wewe Utukufu na sifa zote ni zako Baba Mini tume nyende mbali Nitanga ze njili yako Mataifa yote ya tuwe wewe ni muweza Matendo yako duniani Watu wote wakutue Dunia yote itambue Wewe mfame wa 